Right now the game's running at a steady 84 frames per second. I mean, isn't that amazing? Shit, 84 frames per second, dude. Shit. Wouldn't you like your games to run this fast? Look at this. All you have to do is play this game and you can play a game. Play 2D games, man. They all run more than 60 frames per second, man. This is the future. It's the future of gaming. It's the past. Okay. Okay. Hey, uh, explode on there. Boom. Oh, come on. He didn't do anything. He didn't do shit to that <laughs> Holy shit, I did it. You saw that? I just fucking jumped over that with my little machine gun. My little minigun, or whatever the name of this is. Honestly, I always forget what the name of this is. But let's go with my AK. Uh, can I go up? You know what? Fuck you. You don't wanna you don't wanna take me up? Okay, I'll make my own path, bitch. There you go, you see? No! Oh fucking shit I died. They suicide bombing. Oh shit. You know well, okay, I'm looking at Sakura Car Captor right now. You know, I used to watch that when I was little. So so here's the story of that. This is this little bitch. Goes to a library, finds a book, it has a bunch of cards, opens it, and all of a sudden, apparently, she just released a bunch of monsters or, you know, whatever they are. I don't remember, but that, that's the whole plot of it. So, that, that's it, man. That's it. And then they have to go and capture them, and there's a little, little, I don't know, it, it turned out to be a fucking tiger with wings. I think his name was Xiao Lao or something like that. And then the bitch had a brother. And the brother was like this cool guy and shit, and you're like, oh shit, I wish I could be like that brother and shit. And then like, cause he he gets to fuck that sexy hot teacher, I think, cause I think he's getting it on with the teacher. So that's a, that's a fucking good thing about it. It's like I think he's a high schooler and he's fucking like the the, the teacher, but uh, but I'm not really sure if that's really how it how it goes. But there was also this other one called Bazaar's Chronicle, which apparently was within the same world as that one. And then they reveal that there's a... It's kind of like a multiverse. Because they have the same exact looking characters. But then you find out, they tell you. Yeah, it's, it's, it's actually different uh, worlds. So, that's one of them. The Sakura Car Captor was one of them. But yeah, it's amazing. It's, it's not bad, you know, it's not bad. Back then, for back then, I, I was like, you know, I'm, I'm Hispanic. We Hispanics love anime way too much. In a way that is not like a weeble. It's different the way we like it. That's what I can tell you. It's not like Japanese obsessed the way we used to like it. It was more of a it was more of a standing ovation. We we like you anime, please just keep making more because our lives are really shit. And this is probably the only thing that's gonna make makes us happy. That that like that, you know? Because uh, when you're Hispanic, most countries are just pretty shit. And anime was like one of those ways to vent out that frustration. Like there's anime expos now and shit, you know, if people want to be weeboos and all that, you know, feel free to do it. But I, I just don't think that you should do that anymore. Yeah. But, you know, let's go back to going back to the topic. Oh shit, no fucking way! No. Fuck! Going back to the topic, um, yeah, another one I will admit I watched, and guess why I watched it? Why? Because it had a group of females only cast who were wearing skirts, and they would go semi-naked when they transform. I'm pretty sure you can know what this is. If you guess Power Rangers, go fuck yourself. But if you said Sailor Moon, you're right. Because Sailor Moon, that that shit, that that shit got me diamonds when I was little. I'm not gonna lie, you know, it's like shit. Little kid, I was in those days when there was no, not a lot of internet. This was probably the one thing closest to that that I could watch. You know, my computer was fucking shit. I don't think I even have a computer during that time. It's my cousin, and so like 
it, that was it. You know, if, if I wanted to get hard diamond, you know, I want to go diamonds. Shit, that was it. That was the one to go to. It got to the point that I remember one of my cousins recorded the whole thing just so we could fucking watch it, just because we're like, oh, them sexy bitches. Because we didn't give two fucks about the story. I don't remember the fucking story. I know they made a remake of it, and I think it failed pretty epically because I never heard about it ever again. But another one that I like was called, uh, what was her name? Cami, the ghost hunter. I think that was the name of it. Well, I think that was her name. It was, uh, it was this chick on a purple outfit, and there was this other guy. And there was uh, this girl with blue hair, and she was a ghost. And this ghost girl, she would help the other bitch to hunt other ghosts. So, you know, the other bitch might not be able to contact the ghost. This other girl would come in and start talking to them. Just in case, you know, they could actually find an arrangement. And she would exercise them with this little talisman that she would put on their forehead. It was pretty good. I liked it. The only the issue is that I remember I was watching like near the ending of it and the fucking there was a blackout. I remember I was little and there was a blackout and I was like on the last episodes. I had invested so much time on this show because the fucking monsters were, were fucking cool. I was into Ghostbusters. I was like fuck yeah. What's better than Ghostbusters? A Ghostbusters with female that had a fucking sexy bitch in a skimpy yeah. slutty fucking purple outfit hunting ghosts. And I was like, fuck yeah, this is satisfying my diamonds today. And and guess what, man, like I said, there was a blackout. I, I, I remember hearing the lights go out, like, whoosh, you hear the fucking explosion. And I couldn't watch, I couldn't finish it. And till this day, I, I barely remember right now that I should finish it. See, this is, this is why talking to yourself can be helpful. You remember stuff like this? But those were some old ones. That was like from the fucking 80s anime. I'm not that old, but I've uh, in those days when I was little, they would be rerunning a lot of old anime, dubbed into Spanish. Because even though it was old as fuck, maybe it was from the 80s and it was barely being released from the 90s of my country. It was because of the dubbing. And I'll tell you, we got some quality fucking dubbing. I am not Mexican by any means. I am not Mexican, but. I don't like the Spaniard subs. I don't like any of that stupid as fucking. Hey, oh yeah, tío. Vale, vale, what? Hey. Like that, that shit fucking gets on my nerves so much. Like, why the fuck do you sound the same? Are you guys out on a budget? Do you not have any money that you fucking have to sound the same every goddamn fucking time? Like, it's, it's insane. Like, you, you got no idea how insane this shit is. They fucking just sound the same. They'll never sound any different. Listen to them now. They, it sounds like they still hire the same guy or they told the last guy, hey, we like this guy's voice so much. Can you, uh, can you just, you know, make your voice sound like him? We really like this guy, so can you please do it? And then the guy fucking spends the rest of his life trying to personify, impersonate this other guy's voice. And you're like, no. Even the women, even the fucking women, it, it's, it's insane how badly they're dubbing it. Try to listen to Dragon Ball Z dubbing. Listen to Dragon Ball Z, uh, not Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Super, this is the most recent. Try to listen to that, that stuff is, is fucking disgusting. It doesn't sound like Goku, I mean if you think that English, I mean the Japanese dubbing of Goku sounds bad. Because he sounds like an old lady because he happens to be that an old lady is actually the one voicing him just like Naruto. It was a younger woman. Well, it, it, it's how it is. I'm sorry. It's just, the, there's no other way around it, man. The dubbing from Spain is shit. Everybody knows it. The dubbing from Mexico. Say whatever you want about Mexico. They got quality women. They got quality tequila. They got quality drinks and they got quality fucking dubbing over there. They take their shit seriously at least, you know, they... If you think Japanese people have some sort of respect for fucking anime... Dude, they don't have respect nowhere near close what fucking Hispanics have for anime. At least we don't go full on retarded like they do. I understand cosplay and all that's pretty good, but... Ah, uh, nah, it, it gets a little bit disgusting at some point. 
I feel like I'm near the ending of this. I hope you've enjoyed watching me. I don't really, I'm not sure if I'm near the ending, but I'm fighting the guy that's supposed to be the last one. I hope that I can do it since Terry Crews happens to be one of the big pieces of shit at, at this. But, uh, yeah, there you go. Oh, man! I couldn't do it. I have to get up her before I can kill him. Going back to the the anime thing, uh, One Punch Man dubbing in English, it sounds pretty fucking lame right now. I, I don't like that dubbing. Fucking shit. Okay, so there has to be some somebody underground that I can save. They're not telling me. Look, there's that upper part right here that I can go to. They're not letting me stand on that. I could I could cheat my way into this. They're not even letting me see down there. Okay, there you go. Okay, we got three people now. Just keep going down. I feel like I just have to keep going. And maybe at the end of the level, that's where I'll see it. For now, I'm just gonna skip all of this. I don't really need any of this. Let's just continue. We got Terror Cruz again. Ah oh, man, I hope you viewers are trying to help us on this. Fuck. <laughs> uh, okay, the end of the line. This is it. It's the boss fight. Okay, so we might be able to strategically launch ourselves on top of him. Never mind. It's not gonna happen. And I should have gotten the other. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Oh, man. So fucking close, man. That's bullshit. Dude, no! No! Oh! I got it! I know how to defeat him! You see those things that are dropping? I gotta make sure they drop on top of him as I'm going. I think three of them and he might do it. Let's see, let's see if I'm correct because this is insane. I have to at least make some. I see. I can't. I can't do it like this. I got Terry Crews right here. It might might be my only homie right now. I can help me out on this side. Ah, fuck! I died. Okay, so let's try the strategy again. Like I said, we just free some of them from down there. As he goes through the stage, we'll make sure that some of those things drop on him. It might be the closest thing to beat in this game right now. That's my hope. I put all my hopes and dreams on that baby, baby Chan moment. Okay, so let's see where's the other one. Ah, fucking shit. I gotta get those checkpoints as I'm going. I might have to ignore some of the new characters. Fuck, he's going, he's going. I have to follow him up. Fucking shit! Oh my god, I'm at the ending. Why am I not doing it? Why am I not doing it? I need Terry Crews to be my first. If I, if I fucking put Terry Crews... Holy shit! I need Terry Crews. I can use his. Okay, here it is. I'm gonna have a chance. No, no, no. It's the other way. It's the other way. Ah! He didn't. He didn't fucking do it. Didn't fucking do it. I was close. That was a good. That was a good try, though. Huh. Now that we know what to do, let's let's just relax a little bit. This is not that hard. Dude, I was fucking there. Okay, now I know what to do. I gotta get way ahead of him because uh, there's places where you can actually get up on him. Come on, give me somebody worth it. I need somebody fast. Ah, uh, they're not doing it for me. They're too slow. Fuck. See, the one that I need not right now is Wesley Snipes. I need Wesley Snipes. That guy with his knife skills. Fucking impeccable, amazing quality knives, knife and shit. His skills is just so comparable, man. He can beat Snake if he wanted to. On CQC. 
Okay, 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 okay. Let me go on top of you, bitch. I got him! Woo! Interrogation complete! Interrogation complete! We got him. We interrogated that son of a bitch. That was not the real one. Fuck. I thought I was at the ending. That's my impersonation of. Holy shit, okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Wait. Oh shit! Oh shit! Let's run, bitches! Let's run! There it is! Oh my god, they gave me the best character they could have given me. I am gonna fucking blade through this right now. Oh my god, thank you, Jesus Christ. Oh, and he can double jump. Kind of. No! No! Where's his knife? No! He fucking died. Oh man. Oh god, oh man, oh god. They're giving me one of the worst characters right now. Why am I getting the Russian? Why would you fucking kill Apollo? Fuck you! Shit! Okay, so I might, I might have to keep this going because I'm, 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 I'm fucking pumped up. I'm gonna edit this later. I'm gonna try to successfully finish this game as quickly as possible. It's gonna be one of my greatest achievements since yesterday to finally finish one game in one go. No, why did fucking shit? What the fuck was that? He double jump in the air and then he fucking went on the sauce. Jesus, my God, this is exciting. My nipples are hard right now. Holy shit! Oh, oh, my flamethrower! All of you. I don't give a fuck about what that 3D said for World War II. I'm a flamethrower, all of you bitches. Okay, I'm getting too excited right now, but we're pretty much there. You. I'm gonna fucking throw my controller right now. I'm gonna fucking throw this. I, I just not I just have to escape the level and I'm fucking dying. How is that difficult? I just don't wanna take my time too much. Especially with those big fucking things there. Those saws are fucking rolling towards me. Okay. Okay. Let's relax. We're right here. Let's go under. He's fucking shit oh my god it's getting close it's getting close it's getting close jump jump Ooh! just like in the movies just like in the movies i need to play the song cool guys don't look at explosion they walk away in slow motion but we're on a on a chopper we finished it we finished the expander bro see what happens when you're in a, having a good day and a good morning we finished that in maybe 30 minutes a game by Free Lives. Thank you, Free Lives. Uh, you you made a quality game. That's uh, let's let's continue this. So, from what I'm guessing is that this is the prequel to Bro Force, and in Bro Force is where you kill him. But uh, if I'm not mistaken, in that game you end up fighting a game a guy that's uh, that's like the devil. He looks like a lawyer. Ah, uh, okay. Let's go back to it. Return to menu. Thank you for watching. We have defeated the Expander Bros. Thank you, bros. See you next time. This has been Mr. Pup of the Highest Order. Have a good day, everybody. Enjoy your E3. I know I'm gonna enjoy the rest of the conference. I'm gonna watch some demos. Probably play the Infinite Marvel vs. Capcom game demo story trailer. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, bye.